Whatever Shamima Begum dreamed of as she ran away to a new life, it wasn't this. Trapped in a dusty detention camp in Syria, her existence dividing opinion back in Britain. Is she a traitor who idolised ISIS or a groomed schoolgirl, a victim? Kind of heartbreaking to read. I, th I thought it would... My family made it sound like it would be a lot easier for me to come back to the UK. That was 2019, when, newborn baby in arms, she was told she had lost her British citizenship. Now, four years later, her appeal has been dismissed in full. The judgment by the Special Immigration Appeals Commission described it as a case of great concern and difficulty. There was a credible suspicion that Ms Begum was recruited, transferred and then harboured for the purpose of sexual exploitation. But the Commission ruled the then Home Secretary, Sajid Javid, had acted lawfully after receiving national security advice about her threat to the UK. This is an extraordinary judgment. And the implication, the outcome that we face is that no British child who has been trafficked outside the UK will be protected by the British state if the Home Secretary invokes national security. And so the now 23-year-old, whose baby son died like his brother and sister before him, will remain in the Syrian camp. Andrew Drury has interviewed her there many times. This was just last year. He says she has watched on as other women have been repatriated. The Canadians have just taken all theirs back, so that's been emptied. The Germans took theirs back. Um, back in July of last year, so they're all back, and they were our closest friends. The Dutch have gone back. So there's only, like, an American girl I know, Trinidadian, and the English. So, yeah, most of them have gone back, so she's losing total hope. How many interviews do you think you've done? I don't know. I really don't know. 20, 30, 40? Maybe in the 50s. The Home Secretary said she is pleased with today's decision, but this won't be the end of a story that has engaged and enraged so many people. Shamima Begum's lawyers have vowed they will fight on. OK, and as you can see, Tessa joins me now. So, Tessa, as we said before, a very complicated issue and actually very divisive as well. Yeah, absolutely. And this is the ruling here. It's a chunky one. Um, and it was recognised by the Commission. This is a really interesting part of it. They said reasonable people with knowledge of all the evidence will differ, both to the extent to which Shamima went voluntarily or whether or not she was groomed, and also the extent that she was a threat to national security back in 2019. But all they could actually rule on was whether the then Home Secretary, Sajid Javid, made a reasonable decision. So they weren't ruling on whether it was the reasonable decision. Now, this is devastating news, we know, for Shamima. We haven't had a response uh, through the camp from her yet. But it's important to know that this is not an isolated case. The journalist there, Andrew Drury, told me he's met five other girls in that camp who've had their British citizenship revoked. So there are really, really big questions about what all of their futures will hold. Will this settle the matter? I don't think so yet. OK, uh, Tessa Chapman, thank you.